The Dispossessed Rune Lord, coming up next on Monster Hobbies, What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again, Games Workshop fans. Welcome back to another unboxing video where today we are going to be looking at the Dispossessed Rune Lord. Now, they've, uh, this is actually a model from the past. It actually still says Dwarf Rune Lord up there, or down there. <laughs> wherever uh, but it's still the same model so without further ado uh, let's open up this package and see what's in the box welcome back once again dispossessed collectors here we go with another review and today we are looking at the D dispossessed rune lord or as it used to be called the dwarf rune lord so, this amazing model from Games Workshop came out around the time of 8th edition Warhammer Fantasy when they were revamping the Dwarf Army. Of course, he's stayed through the ages, and now he is in the Age of Sigmar where he is part of the Dispossessed, soon to be part of the new Warhammer Cities, which is the newest book coming out. Um, no release date as of yet, but soon! So anyway, we can see this nice illustration of the Rune Lord, and this is one of the two variations that you can build of this model. This one, of course, is holding the Runic Staff and the Spell Book, or the Rune Book, I should say. And you'll notice that the Rune Book has a nice dwarf circle glyph icon on here, which is really, really cool. So what we will do next is we will look at the instructions for this model and then look at the amazing detail on the plastic components. So let's go and see the instructions. Here's our instructions that we find by opening up the blister at the back and removing the sprue from it. So there's a choice of two different Dwarden faces as well as the big runic hammer. And there's a hand here holding tongs with a piece of metal on fire, which I guess the rune lord is going to pound into a rune. There you get his, the front part of him, as well as a shoulder pad, which is up there. You also get the cape, a stone, a square base. This is an older kit, so you'll need to replace that with a round base. The hand holding a smaller hammer and of course the hand holding the book. These little blue circle gears mean that they are options, so you actually have three option choices. A different left hand, a different face, and a different right hand. Or is that the left hand? <laughs> anyway, so those are the instructions, and now let's see how it all translates onto the plastic sprues. And here's our part sprue. Now I changed the paper background to a purple so that we could see the gray. There's our stone, and check out the neat dwarf runes that are stamped into it. This is of course what he's standing on. There's that large runic hammer, and our hand with the book on it. And there's the one holding the smaller hammer. This is a really nice sculpt. It comes molded with the shoulder pad on either one. There's the additional shoulder pad for the other arm, which is the one that's being raised up on the body here. There's our hand holding the tongs with the hot piece of metal in there. Uh, notice on the cape there are some thunderbolts on this side, which is a really nice detail. Here we have our full bearded face with all the, uh, the diadems and everything tied into the beard, as well as our more trim one with the pleats and the beard going into one solid ring here. So you do have your choices. You can mix and match. You can have this face holding the big hammer, or this face holding the big hammer, or the small hammer, however you want to do it. There are quite a few options. And now we'll just flip this over to the other side so that you can see the nice dwarven tapestry style stuff on the cape here which, let's see if I can bring this closer to the camera. You can kind of see the knot work that's going on. Celtic knot work is what it would be. And then, of course, we've sort of got a Celtic circle symbol on our book here. 
provided the camera's gonna behave. Okay, camera doesn't want to behave. But anyway, you'll have to take my word for it. So once again, there's our amazing sprue. Here's an example of a dispossessed Rune Lord model that I built up, sort of in the same type of color scheme as the Wanderers. He was built up for Queen Helga army. Of course, Queen Helga is an old dwarf model that I have. And uh, I based an army around her that's all painted in this green color. There you can see the tongs holding the red hot glowing rune here that he's hammering out. Of course, he's got the full beard. You can see that Celtic knotwork right in there, as well as some details in underneath his cape here. And if we just rotate him around, there's the lightning bolts that I painted white just to stand out. And we also have these nice shoulder pads, which are sadly going a little out of focus. There we go. And check those out there. Now, the next rune smith that I'm going to make, or rune lord that I'm going to make, is going to have the alternate beard here. And he'll be holding the bigger hammer, as well as the book. And the way that I want to paint him is not in the green, but more like this. This is the color scheme for Karak Eight Peaks, which was, of course, from 8th edition, with the split blue and red, as well as I added in a bit of yellow. This, of course, is one of the um, Dwarf Lords from the old Battle for Skull Pass set that came out way long time ago in 7th edition Warhammer Fantasy. You can see the nice detail that I did on the cape here, giving it some pinstripes and whatnot. This is a neat little figure that I did, of course, with the split red and blue. The other way I could paint him is like this quarreler here with the red and blue. Whoops. <laughs> That's a conversion base I got on there. With the red and blue being split that way down the back of the cape. Either way that I do it, it should still look pretty nice and make for a very cool looking runesmith. And that completes our look at the Dispossessed Rune Lord. Now, if you have this model in your Dispossessed Army, please, in the comments section below, write down how you like him and how he benefits your army. Well, I hope you enjoyed our unboxing of the Dwarf Rune Lord, or the Dispossessed Dwarden Rune Lord, and I hope he can be a big help to your army. Well, that brings us to a close of another unboxing video, so tune in next week when we look at something else that's very, very cool. And until next time, happy wargaming.